And tushy up is more of a straight on shot. But it's still down the nose. And you can see that she doesn't have quite that angle that we want. You know, she's not in the saggy in the back, but the biggest goal for me are those wrinkles in the back. But I will even shoot this kind of like I do the bean bag with my camera, with the, um, like the side lying pose, with my camera kind of tilted a little bit to create that. Now that was a vertical shot right there, but the new one I just shot, I shot it as a horizontal. It'll probably come in as a vertical. But um, the, do you see how I kind of shot down her back? Like uh, the angle is different. And then I tilted my camera towards the light, the, the left side of the camera towards the light to create that little uphill impact effect. And you can do the same thing with, with Tushy Up. You can do um, drapes, you can do headbands, you can do all kinds of props. Let's do a cute little hat on her. Let's see what we got here. Can we do pink? Or let's do purple. This is from um, a bit of string. Peggy does amazing hats. They fit every single baby, no matter what. I love it. Now with little girls, I tend to tie bows, and with little boys, I tend to just let it, um, let it drape a little bit. Let's go ahead and um, switch the pose to forward facing so we can get through poses here. So now we're gonna switch poses. We're gonna go to forward facing, which my sister is a master at. She is so good at this one. Um, so I'm just, she's gonna lift baby up and I'm gonna move all that build up to the front. And she's gonna put baby with her face towards the front. And we're just building up right there. And then I'm gonna hang on to her back just a little bit. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to scratch you. And then she's gonna, we're gonna transfer her over like this. This baby is a dream baby. This is not normal. Yeah. And she's ready. <laughs> Look at that. Not usually this easy, guys. I don't, I'm kind of hoping I get a harder baby so we can show you what it's really like. <laughs> oh my gosh, she is so cute. Let me just shoot this so we get it. This is a lot safer than that composite that a lot of people want to do with the chin up. Do you like the strings? Yeah, I just, I, I wanted to shoot it so we know we got it. <laughs> Do you want the strings Yeah, out? go ahead. Get or out. the bow? Um, the strings are, it doesn't matter. I kind of like the bow. Okay. It's cute. It's girly. Yeah, this is a lot safer than this pose. This little froggy pose that people do that has to be a composite. To me, it's unnatural. Look, this baby is doing this perfectly naturally just fine. Um, her feet are kind of still in that tushy up pose, like one's behind the other like that. I'll shoot it for you so you can see. It'll be weird light, but it's actually kind of pretty. So you can kind of see where her, her feet are. And notice the lines of the backdrop. They're all going backwards to create that, you know, beautiful look. The color on that monitor seems a little weird. Does that seem weird to you guys? It's almost like my white balance didn't take. But the beautiful thing about this shot is I can now all of a sudden create much more interest. So you notice how I'm shooting like baby on the right side all the time. Well now all of a sudden I can put her on the left side of the frame and create an image that looks like I changed my lighting direction and everything and I put her on the left side, okay? 
Yeah, thank you, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Tiffany is seeing that I need fill. And she also holds the background in the front so I can really create neat depth of field. Is my exposure OK? It's a little hot, isn't it? I'm such a chipper, you guys. I hope you don't mind. I should, usually I look at my histogram, which is really super helpful, but I can't really see it. I, I rely on it so much. I used to meter all the time. And if you're just starting out, I would highly suggest metering because um, it'll really help you understand your light. Yeah. I'm just going to turn her head a little bit so I can do. There we go. Do you want a little more under her elbow? No, I think it's cute. Okay. I just wanted her head a little tilted. That's cute. Oh, baby, Lila, you're just delicious. Okay, that's facing forward. Simple as that. She's a little bit low. You're right, Tiff. She's a little bit low on the left. Yeah. That's okay. Do you see how her elbow on the right, on her left side is a little low? We should pop that up. Let's go ahead and do it so they see what the difference is. So she's just taking a towel and popping it up slightly so we can see it a little bit better. And see, we'll show you the difference in the image. It's um, the details, so look at that one that you see there. And then with um, the new image, with the elbow popped up, it's loading here just a second. It gives you, you could see a little bit more. Do you see what I'm saying? It's not as tucked. I should probably do it even more, honestly. Um, but it's still a very, very sellable image, OK? So you can also shoot this one from above. So I highly recommend just doing it from lots of different angles, close, medium, far. You can see I've done three, four poses now on the beam, five poses on the beanbag. We're still not even done yet.